In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to calculate the standard error of the mean. Now, there's a formula for it. The standard error of the mean is equal to the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So we're going to calculate those two parts first, and then using that, we'll calculate the standard error of the mean. But let's begin by calculating the mean, which is the same as the average of this data that we have here. To do that, type in equal average and then highlight the selected data. And that'll give us the mean, which is very close to 85. Now, to calculate the standard deviation, type in equal STDEV. Now, dot P will give us the population standard deviation. Dot S will give us the standard deviation of a sample. I'm going to calculate the sample standard deviation. And then we're going to highlight the same data. So the standard deviation is around 7.75. Next, we need to calculate the sample size. We need to get the n value. What we can do is instead of counting the number of data points that we have, we can use a function in Excel that's going to do that for us. The count function will tell us how many, the, the number of cells in a range. So in this case, it's 22. So if you were to count up all of these numbers, there's 22 numbers in this data set. Now to get the standard error, we need to take the standard deviation, which is the information found in cell E7. So I'm going to type in equal E7. And then we need to divide it by the square root of the sample size. So I'm going to put SQRT. And then we're going to select the information in cell E8. So that is the standard error. And of course, you can plug this in your calculator too. If you take the standard deviation, 7.74890022, if you divide that by the square root of 22, it will give you this answer, 1.652. So that's how you can calculate the standard error of the mean using Excel.